This is KLST News at 5. Welcome back, San Angelo School District. Busy as always, even though students and teachers are not in classrooms. That's right. It's great to have summer, but we're looking forward to kids coming back August 15th. All right. That's, we'll be here before we know it. That's Dr. Right. Chris Moran here to talk to us about some things. Speaking of students returning, registration is important, and you can do that right now, and you need to do it. It's been open for a while, but this is a, a gentle reminder for returning students, especially if they'll go through the Home Access Center on the website. And, and just fill out the returning school verification uh, uh, form and get all of their information verified. That's going to help us develop our schedules and make sure everything's correct going into the year. But then the emphasis really is for newly enrolled students. And this can be done on the website as well. Very easy, but if uh, anyone needs help, just contact our office and we're glad to help them. Uh, we'll be looking forward to meeting our new kids. I'm guessing it wouldn't take more than five minutes or so, and you really need to do it, and you can do it any time. That's right. That's okay, right. Yeah. again, on the school district website. Talking about the school lunch programs and breakfast, you know that is so important for lots of students throughout the school year. It continues all through the summer. It has been continuing. It is. And this is a point of emphasis. There are two programs that will overlap. Our summer feeding program will reduce from four sites to two sites beginning next week. Okay. But there is a Kids Eat Free program that is a community-based program. It's not the SAISD program, but we're so thankful for it. It's churches, volunteers, nonprofits, and businesses coming together to provide meals at about six or seven sites around the city. Churches provide and serve these meals. And uh, all people have to do are go to the, uh, the Tom locations. Green County Hunger Coalition's Facebook page. They can see the locations and, and how to get those meals. But this is really, a big deal. And they won't see, the people who go and depend on it really won't see much of a difference. And, and traditionally, the Hunger Coalition for the last few years has taken over that second yeah. half kind of from the school district. So again, that people can get free breakfast and lunches all the time. Yes. One more time, where do you go to find out the locations for that? Tom second Green half? County, Hunger Coalition Facebook page. And SAISD runs our program through July 25th. This picks up, the other picks up July the 5th and runs through about August the 11th. Okay, so there is a little bit of an overlap there with is both overlap. going on. That's right. That's okay. Right. Yep. All right, let's talk about closing down for July 4th week and everybody's getting out of town, right? <laughs> well, the school district closes down for a week and forces everyone to rejuvenate and uh, sharpen their saw. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. But next week, our schools, our campuses will be closed. The administration offices will be closed. And so if anybody needs help, uh, give us a week and we'll be back to help. All them. right, send an email or go on the website. And again, you can do that to register. Looking ahead, really, it's not that long after before uh, everybody starts returning. It will not be that long. Once we get back from the break, it's just a few short weeks before volleyball and band and football and all of those activities pick up and kids will be uh, getting back to the schools and uh, getting involved. So here we go. And teachers too, there's a lot of that, the new retrain, the training for new teachers and training yeah. for uh, teachers who That's are That's right, our staff is training all summer long. Okay, all right, well enjoy a nice week off. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Dr. Chris Moran, San Angelo School Superintendent.